This video is made possible by donations to the United States Lighthouse Society from people like you. Hi, I'm Ralph Trigler with the United States Lighthouse Society. Joining me today is Sarah Jones, the Executive Director of the Tybee Island Historical Society. And of course, Tybee Lighthouse falls under that. Hello, how are you today? Good, how are you? Doing great, thank you. Now, the reason I have you on is recently you posted that Tybee is going to be getting a new paint job, and which is one of the common questions that everybody who works at or volunteers at a lighthouse gets is, how often do you repaint your lighthouse? So... First question for you is, how often does your lighthouse get repainted, and is it just received touch-ups, or is it always a full process? Well, the original restoration was done in 99, and that was done in such a way that when we retouched up the paint again in 2008, which was about 10 years later, um, it was just a retouch. And then in 2014, we repainted it, and we had to do a little bit more than a retouch, and coming up in 2024, it's gonna be quite a bit of work on the stucco. Um, so we're gonna to have to do quite a bit more work this time than just a repaint. We're gonna to have to make sure the stucco is stable and fix and repair some areas where we have some um, leaching that's coming through because of the brick and, and some of the moisture that's trapped between the brick and the stucco. So that's our goal. Uh, it's not gonna be a cheap job. It's gonna be very expensive. But about, I would say, an answer about 10 to, to 15 years, depending on the quality of the, the job. Okay. So you just mentioned that you have a stucco finish. And I know that, like, um, was it Cape Hatteras was having issues also with uh, their paint and it was retaining moisture. With the stucco, is there a special process that you're going to have to go through with a new, different type of paint? Or are you going to continue to use the same type of paint? We're going to use the same type of paint. It's a mineral-based paint. However, in the 60s, when the Coast Guard was in charge of our site and they had barracks and, and they were the ones who oversaw the, the lighthouse site, they went in and put a Portland cement stucco over the entire brick surface of the tower. And that stucco is not the best. It doesn't uh, work well with brick and, and it's, it's creating some issues. So what we're going to do is we're going to sound the tower, which is what we're doing right now. We currently have scaffolding around. They're sounding the tower, they're assessing the tower, and they're gonna repair some, some stucco that's an immediate need. And then in 2024, they're going to come back in all those places that they sounded. They're going to remove that Portland cement and they're gonna go back with a lime-based stucco that will allow for a moisture to move freely between the brick and the stucco and not get trapped between the two. Wow. Do you have any idea how much of the Portland has to be removed? I do not. They're sounding it this, this month and into next month. That's what they're going to determine to get us a hard estimate. They're anticipating right now the cost of the paint in 2024. That job is going to be between 850 and a million. Wow. Yeah. It's not cheap to paint a lighthouse. <laughs> no, it it's, sure it's, it's it's up there. When we just did a straight repaint with uh, minor repairs to the stucco in 2014, that was a, a five hundred thousand dollar job. So it's just it's not lighthouses are expensive. Yes, they are very expensive. To keep why going. donations matter so much. Mm -hmm. So are you able to uh, keep the site up and running during all these processes, or do you have to actually shut down the tower or the entire grounds for any of it? We are, this project, yes, this project, we're able to keep the tower up and running so far. There might be an odd day here or there where they might have to close the catwalk. And if they do that, we will post it on our social media. So of course, visitors will know ahead of time before they get here. But the whole site will be open during the process and the tower will be intermittently closed this time. Next time, however, for the repainting, it will have to be completely closed. And uh, my guess is that that's depending on the amount of stucco they find it's going to be between a six and an eight week process okay so the last question for you is if people want to help you know they hear how much this is going to cost how can people uh, help out with this process they can go to our website and we take memberships and donations or they can come visit us all the revenue that comes through our gift store and our tickets go directly into the maintenance of the site we also launched in july a Georgia Tybee Lighthouse license plate 
and we get a certain proceed or a certain proceeds from that. We get $10 off each plate. So if they live in the state of Georgia and they would like to drive around with Tybee Lighthouse in the back of their car, I highly encourage that because that will con be a continuous. Every year they renew that, we get more money. So it's a, it's a good thing. So those are some of the more basic ways they can help. That's fantastic. Uh, so last question for you is, do you have any questions or anything else that you want to add to this? No, just taking the time to talk to me and, and share this information with everybody is wonderful. I appreciate you thinking of us. Thank you very much for doing this. We really appreciate it. Okay. All right. Take care. Take care. Bye. Okay.